Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you're someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? Today we're gonna to be talking about Euphoria special episode part one, Rue. good during Christmas time as I did during Halloween I just really want my Christmas lights to show up but it may be too dark so this may be the only one that is like this you guys so Euphoria is an HBO show in case you don't know um, season one uh, did come out 2019 was one of my favorite shows last year and season two was supposed to start filming of course when COVID hit so we have not been able to get season two but thankfully we are getting a two-part kind of special episode bridge to hold us up until season two uh comes around whenever that may be part two which will be jules's story will be coming out january the 24th i believe it is um that was just announced today actually well probably tomorrow when this video comes out but we are talking about rue in this particular episode and i do want to pre-warn you guys this is going to be a spoiler review because i just I mean, I guess I could do a spoiler-free review, but I don't want to. <laughs> so, of course, we are in the aftermath after Jules did leave Rue in the train station. And, of course, that awesome season finale that really transitioned beautifully into a music video. I don't think I've ever seen something like that before. It was great. Um, you guys, if you've never seen Euphoria, I highly recommend it. Again, it's on HBO, HBO Max. Um, it is a very raunchy teen drama, but if you're not into, like, raunchy stuff then kind of stay away from this because it's like a lot of like sex drugs rock and roll there's no rock and roll you guys but there is a lot of sex a lot of drugs involved a lot of language and uh nudity and there's just a lot going on in this uh, particular show and zendaya gives an amazing performance well not just amazing a award-winning performance there has been a couple mixed reviews there's people that are here for it there are people that are not here for it now the people who are not here for this episode and if you haven't seen it you're like I don't know if I want to watch it or not. I feel like you still should, especially if you are a fan of the show, because it really gives you a little bit more of what's going on with Aru, where her headspace is. We really are in a therapy session between her and Ollie, who is portrayed beautifully by uh, Coleman Domingo. I mean, we did get him uh, maybe like in two or three um, episodes. If you are just here for this show, for the sex, for the drugs, for the nudity, for, you know, all the raunchiness that is Euphoria, the partying and stuff you're not gonna like this this episode you're really not because there's none of that going on and i do think a lot of people will relate to this particular episode just because of the subject matter which again we are talking about uh rue her addiction her wanting to get clean or rather not get clean because she does admit that she does not want to get clean we do face suicidal intentions she does tell ollie I don't plan on being here that much longer so again if you're not really into these type of topics and it's not the show for you not the episode for you uh, but yeah we do get into really really dark territory within this particular episode and again we're just having a conversation um now this episode was filmed within the pandemic so it was handled very very well with the social distancing in mind i'm gonna go ahead and just go into uh Coleman domingo's um performance uh as ollie we did get a little bit more of him we we learned more about his particular character more about his sobriety we thought he was clean for 20 years it turned out he was clean for 12 years and you know he thought he was he had it all figured out that he was like i'm good i'm clean i can do whatever i want you know and he ended up falling off the wagon he told her how long he was off the wagon it was a big shock for her because she thought he was gonna say you know like a couple hours a day maybe like a week tops but he did fall off the wagon for about a year and a half and then you know he again got his shit together and has been clean for seven years so coleman domingo should really get uh nominated for his performance in this particular episode because he did great we've come to find out that ollie's dad used to beat on his mom when he was younger and ollie would always say that's not gonna be me that's not gonna be me and he honestly went years thinking of ways to kill his dad because he his dad you know hurt his mom well we jump forward ollie is now an addict is married has kids and of course he now is the one that's beating on his wife and it turns out that the kids ended up seeing him 
meet his wife. So daughters saw him and of course the daughters are not forgiving. They're they're they just they fell apart. And the 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 rawness that is the conversation between Ollie and Zendaya is just so great because some people are probably not gonna like it. They're gonna be like, oh my god, these people are so freaking delicate, not being sensitive. No, there, there's no reason to be sensitive. You know, he's been through it. You know, he's been through way more. He's hit rock bottom. He knows, he even says, you think that you 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 know it all you think that you've lived you ain't you you you've never lived like look i've been doing this this and that before your mom's egg even dropped like don't try to come at me about life and 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 what you've been through and and situations like you know maybe that could fly and that and i would be more shocked if i was like a 17 year old kid who's probably you know it's also like a small little addict but he's all like no don't be trying to compare both of our situations because they're not the same you know like you keep trying to act like you're tough like you're this you're that but sweetie you're not that you're, you're none of that like i'm i'm tougher than you i've been through it all and and i have more life experience than you and i love the way that this is and there are some people that are very delicate and are not liking the conversation and, and how ollie's actually talking to rue but at the same time it's like rue doesn't need somebody to be talked down like a child you know especially if she is somebody who thinks that she's grown that she knows it all like no 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 no. she doesn't need to be like oh sweetie well you know this this is no 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 she really needs that conversation like ollie is giving it to her that's what rue is needing and even at that she's being a hard-headed little girl but i like how he's talking to her and um ollie honestly even says I like talking to you because we can talk about real shit. You know, we're not just talking about little stupid ass stuff. Um, there are two really heartwarming parts. Is when Rue is talking about her, her dad. So you're saying the reason my dad died is because God didn't believe in him? Rue, uh, that's not what I was saying. Yeah, there's nothing that makes me angry in that fucking argument. Hey, that's, that's not what I was saying. You know, because every time someone survives like a mass shooting or some terrible fucking earthquake, they always say, you know, I survived for a reason. God saved me for a reason. I have a purpose. <laughs> and then I think to myself, like, okay, well, what you're saying is that your life is more important than that six-year-old who died that day or the newborn who died that day or anybody fucking else who died that day. Your life has a purpose, right? Well, why does your life have a purpose and my dad's doesn't? Because I could argue that my dad's purpose was to raise me and my sister to be there for my mom. That was his purpose, I think. The other one is when Ollie asked Rue, how would you like your mother and your sister to remember you by? As someone who tried really hard to be someone I couldn't. I mean, overall, it was a great, great episode. I'm so glad that we've got this little bridge to kind of hold us up for whenever season two is going to be coming on. I can't wait to see Joel's point of view and what she's been going through. Again, um, everything's being filmed during the current pandemic. Of course, before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.